Welcome back to the farm, friends. We're back out on the chicken coop today. We're going to do windows and door trim and trim over the whole coop. So come along and we'll show you what we got going on. So if you remember on the chicken coop, we don't have any of the trim boards on yet. So that's what we're doing today. And we're actually going to put hardware cloth over the top of the windows so we don't have to have screens. Uh, the airflow will be a little bit better and we're going to do it all the way around the coop here. We have our little cutting station set up here on the tractor. And Kelly's got her painting station going over here because after we cut the parts, Kelly's going to paint them before we put them on. It's her idea, pretty good idea. That way everything's got paint behind it and everything and then all we got to do is just touch up where the screws are. So I'm starting to cut the 1x4s and uh, when we get a few cut before we put them on we'll show you what we're going to do. So we got our board cut here and you can see the bottom of the window sill here is slanted and then this is uh, horizontal perfectly like uh, flat. So what we want to do is we want to match this angle with the top of this board so we don't have snow and rain and everything else sitting up on top of here. So that's about a 15 degree angle. So anytime we have a horizontal surface, whether it be the bottom of the window or top of the window, we're going to cut the top surface of that at 15 degrees to match. When uh, we're cutting that 15 degree angle, all we did was set our table saw on 15 degrees. See 15 degrees down there and then we set our fence to where when you run the board through it goes right to the top edge of the board like that and then when we do our vertical pieces we use our cross cut saw at the same degrees to make our vertical pieces pieces uh, match this 15 degree angle Got some trim going on. You can see we got our taper here on the top. We've cut a taper on this piece to match. The top piece we could just cut flush or straight cut. And then we got another taper on the top. So if snow melts or anything up here on top, it'll roll off and not just sit there. You can also see that we put some of the half inch hardware cloth in the window. Um, Kelly wants to really predator proof this uh, coop so she's not real uh, trustworthy of just the normal screen see something could get through that so got this window done we have the upper trim done that closes off the gap there by the uh, bird blocks and then we got the hardware cloth on this window we have the pieces cut Kelly's got them painted so we're going to continue on and get this window trimmed out we are working on the taller windows now and they're a little more difficult because the window frame stuck out about a half of an inch uh, beyond the siding. So the hardware cloth, instead of just tucking underneath the trim, had to be folded around the frame all the way around. So I had to do two folds. I had to fold it one way and then back the other way to get it to set flat behind the trim boards but uh, it came out okay I'm working on the other side right now and then we're gonna start doing the door trim if you were wondering how we were going to clean the windows these windows fold in and they also flip around instead of opening this way you could also open them this way you can just flip the whole window around down to the other brackets so we can still clean them same way with the other ones uh, those uh, window panes, you can take them into the inside and clean them. So Kelly putting the tractor away. It's been a long day. We stopped for lunch. We had to go back into town and get some more lumber. No matter how many times you figure how many boards you need, you always come up short. So we were two boards short, had to go to town. But uh, we got her buttoned up. Got all the trim boards on. Looking pretty good. We'll do you a little walk around here. 
Got our windows all done. Got all the side trim on and the window trim, door trim. The only thing we got left outside here is I got to go buy a fascia board 16 footer for both sides. And we'll paint that the same color as the trim. We're not putting the trim board across the bottom because uh, those are the first ones to rot. And if the wall gets wet, we just want that to drip off the wall freely and not get hung up. And yeah, we can put a little angle on it like we did the others, but I just as soon leave them off. Here's the back. This is going to be the outdoor um, chicken run out here. We're going to sink posts out here. That's what she looks like. She's looking really good. Uh, you saw a, last, a couple videos ago that we got the, the chicks. We only got a couple more varieties to buy. But we're going to start those separately because uh, the first ones we bought are already too big to house with the couple days old chicks. But uh, So that's the update on the chicken coop. Um, come back and see us for further updates on this thing. We're going to be putting her together and we got other stuff going on the homestead. Uh, I'll be back out here tomorrow. We're going to install a automatic door. So if you want to see that, an automatic chicken door, come back and see us tomorrow. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. We love you guys. Catch you later.